Hey, Phil Mackey here, and sometimes my eyesight struggle with Google PageSpeed Insight. I want to share with you how I handle the properly sized images issue on Google PageSpeed Insights. This video was intended to be an internal video. Um, I was going to share as training, but I thought the folks of YouTube might find it useful. So if you're having trouble with the properly sized image stuff, uh, I'm going to show you a few paid tools and a few free tools to take care of that issue. Thanks for watching. I was looking at my uh, page speed insights and I found out I have a super high definition image. So the way we're going to compress this in WordPress is you're going to look at your theme. And I know for a fact that my theme supports these pages at a, or these images at a specific size for a featured image, right? And that featured image is quite frankly on so much of my site. So I'm going to look at my old featured image. And if you've sized it correctly, you can reference old ones. If uh, you've never sized anything correctly, you need to check out your theme documentation to make sure that you're not making it crazy huge. And Photoshop. And you're gonna grab the raw image, right? The extremely huge image. Photoshop's gonna take a minute, as always. That's okay. It's still the best. I'm going to show you a way to do this without Photoshop if you don't have it, but I really think that having Photoshop, if you're working on websites, is super nice. You don't want to be asking, hey, can I borrow your Photoshop license or access? All right, so I've created an image at the ideal width and height. I'm going to go to new, or rather, you're going to open up the high, super high resolution image. Pardon my mess. I you're going to grab your rectangle tool and grab the whole thing. Go back to your page and drop it in there. You're going to scale. And I know there's likely a more sophisticated way to do this in Photoshop, but this is the way I do it. You're going to go to save as. We're going to apply that transformation. Make sure you don't leave any white space anywhere. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And this is going to be, you give it a name with a keyword. So did you see I saved it as a 7? I didn't save it as a 10. Uh, we're going to go to add new. And I'm going to go here. And let's just compare for a moment. If we've done our diligence, we could look at the details here on Windows. You could look at the size of these said files, right? So now it's 307 versus 5,000 kilobytes. I'd say that's an improvement. If we were to do that, say, without Photoshop, I would do bulk image, resize, and I have a specific one that I like, and I can't remember. This is it, so you're gonna go here. You're gonna go grab the big one. And you could actually specify the pixel width and the pixel height. So the cool thing about this one is it uh, does a lot of them at once. I mean, I, yeah. Wait, we're not done. I want to see how big these guys are because I can show you one more hack. One more trick, it's not hack. One more trick. 163 kilobytes. Okay, so worst case scenario, they're still too big. You give it bulk image compressor. This thing is awesome. I'll put links to this. This is this little guy. Ah, oh, both of these tools are fantastic and they're free if you don't have Photoshop. Oh, and as a final follow up, this is our before. Hey, so I'm back. Um, this thing decided it was going to uh, recognize the updated featured image. So again, I recommend you do this for featured Im for all the images on your site, especially the ones that are most heavily used. And you're really sacrificing image quality. These guys are so mean. 
I'm afraid that if I keep compressing this this image, we're not gonna get a good image. So be diligent and be aware of that bargain. But uh, regardless, I'm happy with the experience that I had because you know just previous to filming this video a week prior, I had optimized the video on the page just for the image to um, get me a low low page speed score. So that's how I optimize images in WordPress and this would work for any other CMS, but I think your friends are um, Photoshop and then the bulk image, the bulk image resizer and the bulk image compressor. I'll put all of those in the description. Um, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, I uh, hope this helped. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.